Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name's Katie and today I'm going to be going through my entire physical TBR. So I have a few books <laughs> on my physical TBR. Maybe a few more than I thought when now I've got them all in massive piles. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't feel like it's too unmanageable. I just counted them now and have 31. So I'm sorry Tammy when I told you I only had 20. That was a lie. Um, but yeah, I don't have as many <laughs> as some people. Sorry, that was mean. Okay, so yes. Um, so I'm just going to be going through all the books I have on my unread physical TBR. So I do have a few Kindle books as well. Um, I try and stay rough, vaguely on top of my Kindle books. Sometimes it gets a bit out of hand. I think I currently have about like one page. I don't know how many books that is. Maybe eight of unread Kindle books and then a few like old ones. Although I feel like I want to do a video where I like go through some of my old like Kindle books from back in the day because I was browsing through them and there were some real crackers on there <laughs> so I feel like I just might have to do it but okay so but that's not the point of today's video. Okay so my physical TBR so let's just get started. So the first one I have is June by Frank Herbert and this one I believe is being adapted into a film soon which I I guess I'm excited for, I don't know. <laughs> um, it has like Oscar Isaac in I think, and I've never seen Star Wars, but he's quite an attractive man. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. If this is a, a, a sci-fi, um, I think it's set, it's like the most best-selling sci-fi of all time maybe. And I think, I guess it's set in like a deserty type planet and then some troops or something come and attack them. I don't know. I think this one has quite like heavy kind of political and like, themes of power and like power very corrupting influence like as soon as you get power people become quite corrupt so yeah I think it'll be an interesting book to read I guess it was written kind of a long time ago because this is a 50th anniversary edition so I don't always know how I feel about long books no not long books <laughs> books old books as I meant to say old books so yeah but I'm excited to get to this one eventually um okay so the next I have Children of Earth and Sky by Guy Gabriel Kay um, so this one, well, it's blurred by Brandon Sanderson, <laughs> so that's very exciting. And I don't know, I just, I feel like I've heard quite good things about Guy Gabriel K. I I don't really know what this is about, but I'm excited to get to it, if I ever get to it. Well, no, I will definitely get to it. So I'm excited when for when I get to it, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> really on all the, like, classics here. <laughs> so next we have Solaris by Stennis Law Lem. And this is, like, I feel like it's a sci-fi classic. I don't know if it has a film... Well, The Guardian calls it a cult classic, so, um, yeah. So this one, I think, I believe it's about a psychologist going to a space station and he starts, like, seeing his dead wife or something. So, yeah, I think it could be interesting. It's quite short, but, yeah, hopefully it involves ghosts. I always love ghosty books. So, yeah, I'm excited for this one. And then next we have The Tiger's Daughter by Chaos, not Riviera. And I'm also very excited for this one because I believe this one is a sapphic romance. And yeah, just the, from the cover, it just looks really cool. It's, it feels kind of like it's going to be epic. And I think I've heard this one has really nice writing. So that's also exciting. So yeah, this is another one that I'm looking forward to getting to. <laughs> I feel like this video is going to be quite repetitive. I have to come up with some, some good anecdotes for each book. But yeah. But I'm just excited for this one, so. And this is like a floppy oh, US one, so yeah, Boo approves. So the next, okay. <laughs> this is where I hang my head in shame, because this is, so this is Ruin by John Gwynn, which I have actually started, I'm about 100 pages in. Um, and I was meant to be buddy reading this with Nicole in August, and she finished it, but then I never got around to it enough. <laughs> Now she teases me constantly about it, but I will eventually get to this, I promise. Um, and I'll probably try and get to it quite soon, actually. So maybe by the time this video goes up, I might have actually read it. But if it hasn't, then <laughs> this is me holding myself accountable. But yeah, so I want to, yeah, get to this one. And then also, obviously, Wrath, which is the fourth book. So this is book three and this is book four. So yeah, I'm excited for both of them. Um, I, I really like all the characters in this series, like, they're just so kind of lovable, and then there's a big, oh, Veridus, oh, Veridus, 
now I really want to read it because I love Veridus. Um, and yeah, and Corbin, who's the main character, he's so sweet. And then he's got a little pet, Storm, and oh yeah, I just love them. So I am really excited to be back in this world and to finish this series. And yeah, so that's that one. And we also have Battle Royale, but um, which is going to be our October pick for Chaos Rising Book Club, which is a book club that I host. With some of my friends so Rue from Rue's Reading Corner, Tammy from Tammy Tries to Read and Sophia from Fantasy Book Addict so yes so by the time this video goes up we might possibly have read this because I don't know when I'm gonna put this up with like my October video schedule and stuff so it might go up in November but I'm really excited to read this and if this video is up in November then we will have had our live show which is on my channel so check it out <laughs> um but if not if it's up before that then we will be having a live show on the 31st of october so you can join us in reading this for that so yes i'm probably going to be reading this quite soon and i'm quite excited slash scared because <laughs> well going by the cover and also what i've heard it's going to be quite gory i think and a bit maybe scary so okay then next we have children of time by adrian tavoski um so this is just like I think I feel like it's quite a staple in the sci-fi genre. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's about. I know it's got giant spiders in. <laughs> I've read a couple of his other books. I read Doors of Eden and I did, like at the time, I didn't know how I felt about that one. But like reflecting back on it, I think I really, I quite liked it. So yeah, I feel like I'm quite excited to give this one a chance. Well, yeah, I know I like Doors of Eden. It was like four stars, 3.75. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this one's a good i enjoy it so yeah then next we have rewrite the storm by devin matson so i don't know why i got this one i just like saw the cool cover <laughs> and just thought oh it looks good so yeah and um i feel like any fantasy like written by a bisexual woman is like <laughs> i don't know because i feel like it's the same with like the rune of kings and them and then the jen lion series which will be later on no jane lion's that one the, well, what's it who's it by Oh, Jen Williams for Ninth Rain. I feel like those kind of books I often really like. So I feel like this is another one of those kind of books. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. I have no idea what it's about, but we'll find out when I read it. So if you've read it, then let me know. Um, yeah, this is a cool eagle. And leather sky looks really cool. So yeah, I'm excited for that one. Um, then we have The Deathless Girls by Karen Millwood Hargrave. So yeah, this one's just stunning cover. This one also I believe has a sapphic romance and um, it's like a Dracula's Brides retelling which sounds super cool. I feel like this one might be quite a good one to read in October if I manage my TBR. Um, so yeah I'm really excited for this one and also I have another Karen Millwood Hargrave book and that is The Mercies and I feel like this one takes place in like Norway and it's this island which is like all women and then one day a man like shows up or something and tries to like control them so i don't know i feel like this is going to be a really like powerful feminist book and i feel like this is going to be perfect to read in the winter time so yeah um it says yeah one of the quotes on the front is like beautiful and chilling so yeah i think this is going to be a great book to read then i try not to let my physical tbr get too out of hand it is slightly out of hand at the moment more out of hand than i would like so gonna try and get on top of it i've been spending like the last month or two trying to get on top of my like kindle books and my arcs so now i'm in a fairly good place with them so i can start focusing on the physical books <laughs> um, okay so then next we have the two second two books in the rosewood wormwood trilogy i think it's called the wormwood trilogy but the first book's called rosewater um oh you can see my little hen okay <laughs> um yeah, so these are Redemption and Insurrection. I think Insurrection is book two and Redemption is book three. So I'm excited to get to these. Rosewater is like a very weird book, <laughs> but I actually really enjoyed it. I tend to like like weird sci-fi thrillers. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to get to these two. I think they'll be good. And the covers are just stunning. So yes, everything's a mess. <laughs> I've got books everywhere. Okay, then next, yes, I talked about it earlier, so The Ninth Rain. So I also feel like this is going to be a really good, like, autumn-y fantasy read. Um, and Elliot Brooks actually read it recently, and I was really excited to see her review because I feel like I've never really seen seen anyone talking about it, and she was quite positive, so that made me even more excited. And apparently there's, like, a lesbian witch character, which <laughs> I think that's cool. And, yeah, so it just sounds really fun, and I feel like this is going to be a really fun book. So, yes, I'm excited for that one. And then we have Ivy Aberdeen's 
Letters to the World. And this book I was supposed to be reading for Molly's Detective Bomb, but I never got around to reading it. So I am really excited to read this eventually. It's quite a pretty cover. I really like the kind of rainbow tornado thing. And yeah, it's a middle grade, and I always love middle grades. Maybe I'll save this for November actually, because there's a Believe-a-thon going on. Um, which I need some middle grades for that because I seem to have read all my middle grades. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm looking forward to that one. And then we have Jeanette Winterson and Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit. So this is like a kind of a classic, I feel. And I feel like Jeanette Winterson is quite like a big author, especially in like literary fiction. And I don't read a lot of literary fiction. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. And then another one that Nicole, <laughs> feel free to come for me, is Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin. And this is a bind up of the first four books. So I did, I did start it, but I didn't get very far. Of 50 pages. That's not too bad. I'll probably start again from the beginning though if I do read this, which I will read it because I feel like Ursula Le Guin's like a classic author. And I do want to get it, but it's just this book feels kind of it's like quite old and it feels a bit of a chore to get through. But hopefully once I finally like crack it and get into it, I will enjoy it <laughs> and finally finish off Buddy Read from like April. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. But yeah, we'll see. Um, classic fantasies are something that I tend to struggle to get to. I tend to like more like modern fantasy. I do eventually want to read The Lord of the Rings as well. I don't actually have it here, but my parents have it in <laughs> 10 metres away in their bedroom. <laughs> I can't be bothered to go and get it, so yeah. So then next we have Love Frankie by Jacqueline Wilson. So this is her new book, which I was very excited about. So yeah, I'm super hyped to read this um because I used to love her when I was little <laughs> um, so it's just I feel like it's just gonna bring back all the nostalgia um so yeah and I don't know if it has illustrations actually or maybe it's just the like the cover so yeah I'm excited for that one then we have volumes four and f <laughs> the way around volumes four and five of Full Metal Alchemist. So I'm I've been loving this series so much. Volume three like broke my heart because there's a certain a certain storyline in that one that just oh. um um but yeah so I'm really excited to carry on. We're following these two brothers Edward and Alphonse and they're kind of hunting for this philosopher's stone. But then as the, as the story goes on, there's just so many more characters and so many more plot threads. And I love the villains in this series so much. They're like the seven deadly sins, especially Envy. And there's another one. I can't, I don't, I can't remember which one he is. I feel like he's maybe, um, which one is he? What's the, what's like jealousy? No, that's Envy. I don't, it might be Pride. But yeah, one of them. I also love him. So yeah. That's them. We're nearly at the end ish. <laughs> so then I have Ari Shah and the Tree of Wishes. So this is the third book in the Pandava Quartet. And this is just a really fun middle grade series. If you like Rick Riordan books, you'll definitely love these. And Ari, she's such a great main character. She's so like spunky and feisty <laughs> and kind of mischievous. Um, but she's also a really great like heroine and you're so proud of her. And yeah, they just get up to so many like shenanigans. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a really fun series. So I'm excited to read the third one because this one like just came out in the UK. So yeah, I'm excited to get to that soon. And then we have Haven Fall by Sarah Holland. So this is just like a YA fantasy. I don't really know much about this except it has a cool cover. It's like got phases of the moon and then like a kind of ice palace and like the woods. So that seems like something I would love. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm excited to see what I think of this one. And it's quite short as well. So I feel like this is going to be the perfect like you know, sometimes when you just need a kind of light read in between like heavy adult fantasies, <laughs> then this something like this is perfect. Um, okay, then next we have Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. And this, I believe, I feel like it's middle grade or possibly YA, but I think it follows like a girl, Stargirl, and she's quite unique. <laughs> and she goes to a, like a school and gets bullied maybe, so yeah just for her uniqueness but I feel like this is gonna be a really important book just especially for like kids who kind of just to show them that it's like important to just be yourself <laughs> so yeah um then we have Midnight, Midnight Riot by Ben Aronov Aronovich 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 maybe I can't say it I'm terrible at pronouncing all of those names um and this one I believe is like a detective story and it has ghosts I think it looks like it's set in London, going by the cover. 
so yeah if you like because i think there's another version of this one called rivers of london which is like the same book but just a different title <laughs> so yeah i'm really excited for this one um and then we have hero born by jin young i feel like this one i might have read by the time this video goes up because it is a buddy read that i'm doing in october but yeah i'm really excited for this one um i think it's like legends of the condor hero so it's translated from chinese and i think it is following like it sounds like quite an epic fantasy but also telling almost a bit historically the story of genghis khan i don't is genghis khan a real person i should really know that but <laughs> but yeah or oh, just a fictional character oh I'm exposing my ignorance here, but yeah, so I'm excited for this one. Then we have Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifuko. So this is going to be our December pick for the Chaos Rising book club, which I mentioned earlier. If you've been paying attention. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited for this one because I've heard like nothing but good things. And yeah, I just think it's going to be so great. I think it has an ace main character, which is really exciting. And yeah, I just think it's going to be lots of fun. And also probably quite hard hitting <laughs> um but yeah so i'm excited um i'm sorry i'm not giving like synopses for these books but i feel like if i did that would just be here my all day <laughs> so yeah and then next we have kindred by octavia e butler and this is another one with a very pretty cover <laughs> and i've heard really good things about this one it's like a combination of like good reviews and a pretty cover is like the ultimate Katie bait. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this is going to be another like quite powerful read. I think it explores a lot of themes around like race and sex and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. Whew. The next we have The Library at Mount Char, um, which by Scott Hawkins. And I feel like this one is like a horror and it has these like, I'm guessing it's a library <laughs> where these like kids come, like these like special kids with like powers and um they kind of all like go about their day i don't know i don't know much about this i'll be able to give you a better thing once i've read it <laughs> but yeah the cover is really cool kind of reminds me of the us cover for library of the unwritten um but yeah so that's that one 12 kings by bradley Bellio. so i got this once in a charity shop for like two pounds which was very exciting and it's in really good condition for like considering it's from a charity shop so yeah um i don't really know what this one's about either i think it's an assassin and she's going to hunt down these kings maybe that killed her something or other so yeah it might be about that um but yeah this like desert fantasy which is kind of cool and i'm just excited to read this i feel like this has a different title in the us but i can't think of it <laughs> off the top of my head but yes that's that one and then the last two books on this list are a bit of a joke really um but i'm including them so we have the wise man's fear which is the second book to name of the wind so i feel like i just keep putting this one off because i didn't love name of the wind really um but i bought this before i even read name of the wind thinking i was gonna love it so a lesson learned there but also i feel like it's quite good to have just like it's a classic fantasy series so yeah, I do kind of want to read this because, I, well, I've heard it's bad. And also I think there's this like weird scene with like a sex demon or sex fairy or something. So I feel like that could be entertaining to read. <laughs> so yeah, that's that one. And then finally, are we surprised? No, it wouldn't be a TBR video without the eye of the world. So the eye of the world <laughs> has to be on here. I uh, hopefully we'll read this soon and we'll all be shocked if I've actually read this by the time this video goes up that would be like <laughs> the world is ending but well <laughs> that's debatable but yes yeah, so I will read this <laughs> one day um, so yes yeah, so that is everything I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time